Yes. All right. So now let's uh, discuss the the fascia iliaca block. Fascia iliaca block um, indication any procedure between the the hip joint and the knee joint. But for us in the emergency department, the most common indication is uh, fractured neck or femur. All right. According to the Royal College guidelines, all patients should have fascia iliaca block unless contraindicated as quickly as possible. That should be like maybe within one hour of uh, presentation to the emergency department. All right. So, uh, what's the nerves usually we block with fascia iliaca block? The femoral nerve, but also that might block the, the lateral cutaneous nerve uh, of the thigh and the obturator nerve. Uh, because it's, it's volume dependent. However, the most important is the femoral nerve. Okay? What's the benefit of doing fascia iliaca uh, versus doing femoral nerve block? You're going to be away from the uh, blood disease, from the femoral artery and the femoral vein, and also away from the femoral nerve. All right? So this is the most important thing. Uh, <coughs> what is the landmark? The landmark is an imaginary line between the anterior superior iliac spine and pubic tubercle. Okay? So, so this is the anterior superior iliac spine and this is the pubic tubercle. And if we divide that into three uh, parts like this, so this is the medial part, this is, this is the medial, this is the middle, and, and this is the lateral part, okay? So at the junction of the anterior, of the medial two thirds and the lateral third, so it's here. The junction of the medial two thirds with the, uh, with the lateral third of that imaginary line joining anterior superior X spine and pubic tubercle. Uh, and then you will go one to two centimeters below the inguinal ligament. So here, uh, we need to use ultrasound to perform this procedure. This is the best practice. Although still, um, some people uh, still they are using the landmark technique, but it's better to, to use the ultrasound, to be ultrasound guided procedure. Okay, uh, this is the landmark. I'm going to use uh, Bipivocaine. The maximum dose is two milligram per kilogram. But sometimes it's quite difficult to, 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 to know the patient body weight because most of them are elderly people and they will come and they can't stand up to be, uh, so you cannot check their body weight. So the guidance is to estimate his body weight, whether it's, is it, more than 50 kilograms or likely less than 50 kilograms okay if you think the patient is body weight more than 50 then you are going to give him uh, 100 milligrams of bupivacaine that's four ampoules of uh, 0.25 percent so it comes uh, in 0.25 percent uh, bupivacaine that's 10 ml ampoule so, how many milligrams in one ml? If, if it is 0 0.25%, how two many milligrams? 2.5. Yes. So, how many milligrams in 10 ml? Uh, 2.5. Yes. So, the 10 ml ampoule of Bipropagan of, uh, contains 25 milligrams. 4 ampoules? 100, 100. 100 milligrams. And already we estimated his body weight more than 50 or more. So still, we are in the safe side. Yes. But if you think his body weight uh, is likely less than 50, then give him three ampoules. That is 75 milligrams. All right? So that, that makes things easier. But this uh, block is volume dependent. So if you are going to use uh, 30 ml of beautiful again, then please add uh, 10 ml of uh, sterile saline. So, because we need the volume to be 40 at all times. 
so that because the, the local anesthetic will spread in the uh, fascia iliac compartment to reach all the nerves, to reach the, the femoral nerve medially um, and also sometimes of the ureter nerve, but also to reach the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Okay? So this is how to calculate the dose and how to estimate it if it's difficult to know the body weight of the patient. Uh, but always try to figure out the, the, the body weight. Check the hospital knows and everything. Ask the patient himself uh, uh, about his body weight. But if difficult, then is it more than 50 or, or yes. like less than 50 kilograms? Uh, so this is the indications. Uh, we have spoken about the contraindications already, which is if the patient refusal, um, if there is uh, known allergy to, to the local anesthetic, if there is infection at the site, um, if there is any concern about compartment syndrome, and sometimes bleeding tendency or uh, coagulopathy, and that's relative contraindication. Because if we are going to use the ultrasound, then uh, you will be sure that you are away from the blood vessels. Okay? Uh, if any complications, then treat the complications. Stop the injection. If the patient develops local anesthetic toxicity, then support, uh, supportive to support the airway, breathing, circulation, and everything. If the patient is very arrest or going to cardiac arrest, then consider intralibid. All right? Uh, <coughs> preparation, consent, uh, the patient. Okay? Uh, procedure should be done in a monitored area. Please uh, insert. Um, a cannula, you might need it, okay? You need cardiac monitoring, you need pulse oximeter, blood pressure, uh, monitoring, okay? Uh, yep, then uh, then the, the post-procedure care, the patient should be monitored for at least 30 minutes. Repeat the observations every five minutes, okay? Fantastic, that's the demonstration there. So this is the anterior superior iliac spine, and this is the pubic tubercle. Imaginary line uh, at the level of the inguinal ligament, divide that imaginary line into three uh, parts, okay? The medial third, the middle third, and the lateral third. The landmark at the junction of the medial two thirds and lateral third, okay? So this area, you will go one to two centimeters below. And then use ultrasound, all right? And uh, you are going to, to see your needle if you are using in blend the ultrasound, the, the linear probe. And then you will come from the skin and then you will uh, pass the fascia lata and then the fascia iliaca. So your aim is to inject here, just uh, posterior to the fascia iliaca, but not inside the muscle. This is the iliacus muscle. And this is the femoral nerve, artery, and vein. Okay? This is sartorius muscle. So you will inject here. Initially, ask your colleague, because you are going to use the, the nerve block needle, which is, has a blunt end. Okay? So even you can feel the, the, the two pops. All right? So once you reach there, ask your colleague to give 1 to 2 ml of local anesthetic. So just you would like to make sure you are on the correct side, not inside the muscle. And uh, you will see that the area here is uh, the layers separated. Then you can continue giving. Every time give 5 ml, stop, aspirate, and then give 5 ml, stop, aspirate, until you finish the 40 ml. And that will spread to either directions. Okay? This is the how to perform the procedure. Thank you.